Okay, um, so for the real like first talk for today, uh, it's mine, it's called about startup bullshit. Because there's a lot of startup, startup bullshit going around uh, in startup communities. Um, first of all, it's the term startup. Like, what is a startup? Like, if I'm going to set up an e-commerce site to sell web, uh, like wine, am I a startup? No, you're not. The real definition of a startup is an organization uh, formed to search for a repeatable and scalable business model. Yeah? Hence, repeatable and scalable. Yeah? If you're selling wine, how scalable can you be? Because if the grapes are out that year, you cannot sell anymore. Yeah? So, I know this is a gray area because yeah, like there was always something um, like is Airbnb scalable to a certain extent, of course, but at one point there's an end to the couches that you can sleep on. Yeah. But in, in, in theory, this is the uh, definition that I live by when I'm talking about startups. Uh, it's from Steve Blank. Uh, if you don't know him, read his book, The Startup Owners Manual. Uh, it's uh, good one. He also has uh, the four steps to uh, the four steps to epiphany. Also a very good one. Uh, and Steve Blank was in, uh, was a mentor of Eric Ries, the guy that uh, wrote the Lean Startup book. Yeah. So he definitely knows what he's talking about. So in my booklet, this is the definition of a startup. Yeah. So when like a little history, when was the first time the term startup was used in, uh, in literature? It was in the Forbes, 1976. Uh, the professional business of investing in startups in the electronic data processing field. So startups, the term startups is always connected to IT, software, hardware, those kinds. Um, so it's not a term that was only discovered in the 2000s something or after the dot com. It was already used way before that. Also startups is often used as an excuse. Like, oh I'm doing a startup. Because when it fails, it was only a startup. Like, of course I failed. No, it's like really use the startup term as a, a, a good thing, like really use it when it's how it should be used. Um, talking about startup bullshit, 30,000 likes, that's startup bullshit, because that's a vanity metric. If you want 500,000 likes on your Facebook page, I can give them to you by the end of next week. They're all coming from Bangladesh, India and the Philippines, but it doesn't matter, you have 500,000 likes on your Facebook page. So that doesn't say anything at all. So that's bullshit, that's vanity metrics. You don't have anything from it. Yeah. Another vanity metrics, another startup bullshit is startup entertainment. Actually like this here. This is not really entertainment because always we also want to learn you something, but like that guy that's coming over from the US and telling you that he got like 5 million US in funding and see me standing here, how, how did I get it and this is my pitch deck. That's like a one-off. Yeah? Because the US is not here in Hong Kong yeah? and that guy is only here to promote himself as a founder. Another sort of bullshit is pitch events and speed dating with investors. Like speed dating with investors, I never heard a guy saying like, I went to a speed dating event with investors and I got 500,000 US in funding. Great! No. Anyone here heard, it, heard about that? So, also most of the, I say most of the pitch events are also bullshit. What do you get? Free hosting? If you win? What do you get? Maybe 10,000 Hong Kong dollar in funding? Like that's not even one month salary for a good program. 
Yeah? So, who is winning for this pitch event? Usually the organizers that are winning for that. Yeah? And I know we don't take ourselves that seriously, so yes, also us. Yeah? So, a lot of the pitch events, you're pitching to other sort of people, but are they your customer segment? 95% of the child, 95% of the time, it's no. It's not your target audience. So, pitch events usually are bullshit. Better go pitch in front of your target audience. So, if you're doing a startup in social media, go to Social Media Week and try to get a uh, try to get a speaker uh, place there. Yeah, because then you're pitching your real target audience. The startup community is not your target audience at that point. Another startup bullshit is we invest with supporting services and we get 50, 40 percent of your equity for that. Yeah, we, we, support, we, we invest accounting services, we invest promotional things, we invest your, uh, we'll make your website for you, PR, that kind of thing. That's also bullshit. Because a real entrepreneur doesn't do any accounting. Really. Yeah? So, why do you need it? Especially when you're a startup. So, that's also bullshit. And also, a lot of media for a startup is bullshit. I know Wall Street Journal is here, but when you're doing a, a startup, it's usually media that is not really helping you. Like, it's a nice vanity metrics, it's good for your ego, but are you really getting traction from that? You better get 100 people by hand talking to them that love your product, than 100,000 people that like your product. Because you much more learn from that 100 people that love your product, and it's much more manageable to talk to them than that 100,000 people that like your product and maybe sometimes use it. So also media, like, what do you really learn when you're reading TechCrunch about that other company that got bought out or like sold his company to Google. What do you really learn from that? It's nice to know, but you better work on your startup, better make some code. Yeah? So I already talked a little bit about uh, vanity metrics. Um, uh, be careful with that. Uh, don't step into that loophole. I did it. Yeah? But learn from that. Like, don't step in too much. Like, 30,000 downloads of your app. What does it say? Nothing. Like, we, at one point we had 30,000 downloads of our app from our startup. And we, la we uh, released an update. And then we looked at the figures that how many people really updated the app. It was 10%. That's still okay. But it's only 3,000 people. And it doesn't mean that those 3,000 people are using your app actually at that point, on maybe on a daily basis. They're just updating your app. Especially on iOS now, it's going to be automatically updated. Yeah? So it doesn't mean that they're really using it. So 30,000 downloads of your app is also a vanity metric. It doesn't say anything at all. So you better build and talk and build and talk and talk to your users and learn from that and build something else and then talk again and then build again and then talk again because otherwise you're getting products that are not really usable yeah so maybe some can be usable yeah I think Richard Lai that will talk about um, uh, gadgets later on maybe can use this field gadget Richard uh, it's, it's, it's from the office if you don't know it, but uh, they, they, I think it was even before the iPad came that they pitched this uh, product uh, there. So for today, uh, we're going to hear some mea culpas. That means that some of the speakers are really like leaving them, themselves out here. They, they will talk about their own personal yeah, experiences, their own personal uh, failures. 
I respect them for doing that. That also means that if you have failures, that doesn't always mean that everybody's going to be happy about you. Yeah, that also means that if you have a failure in your startup, there will be people maybe pissed with you because you weren't able to pay the last salary or uh, investors that don't get their money back or suppliers that aren't getting paid because you run out of money. So that's also part of yeah, a startup failure. So I really respect the, the people that are um, uh, coming here today and especially when they're doing a mea culpa, uh, talking about that like, this is why I failed and this is what I learned from it. So respect them also for that. Um, I respect them for that to, uh, to do it that way. So uh, thank you for all the speakers that are doing that uh, today. But mostly, for today, have fun, uh, learn from it, and at that point, yeah, um, uh, listen to them, and there will be a fireside chat afterwards with uh, every four speakers, uh, ask some questions, uh, things that they didn't uh, talk about yet, uh, we have great uh, gifts uh, to give you for, a good, uh, for good questions. We also have some gifts for people that are not giving good questions. But uh, that's, uh, that, that's something later. Uh, so have fun today. Um, uh, experience um, uh, what we have here. And our next speaker is going to be uh, Martin. So uh, he's going to set up. And uh, in, the, in the meantime, um, uh, thank you. Oh yeah, and don't forget the failed startup ID. Tweet something. Yeah, we have some uh, great prizes for that uh, to do. The um, let me get to the hashtag for that. This one. Worst startup ID hashtag. And also, you can use the hashtag PMHK. <laughs>